guys, how's it going? It's Adam Azins here. So I've come across a issue recently about, I got GTA on my PC and I've noticed how laggy and stuttery it was. So I did a bunch of research online and I'm like, well, I have a gaming laptop, you know, it should handle everything. So without further ado guys, I did find a few steps to help me through this process and I'm gonna share it with you right now. Alright guys, first step is you want to head over to GeForce Experience. It should all be included on your gaming laptops or gaming PCs. And once it's loaded up, you'll want to make sure that your drivers are up to date. So, you're going to click on drivers at the top here. And then click check for updates. Bottom's going to say check for updates. And I have the latest GeForce game ready driver. Okay. Your second step is you want to make sure your computer itself is up to date. So you're going to head over to start. Go to settings, go to Windows Update, and then click check for updates. Alright, so I do have an update coming, so I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to let it install, and then you're going to want to install now once it's done. So I'll get back to you guys in just a moment for that. Alright, so now I think it's installed, so let me just click check for updates just in case. You always want to double check on it. Sometimes it might prompt you to restart um, your laptop or computer, so go ahead and do that if it prompts you. And then if it does make you restart, go back to settings and check the Windows update again. And then just make sure you keep clicking check for updates until nothing shows up until it says you're up to date. Like it showed in mine. Right here. Alright, third step is you do have to be required to download something, but it is worth it, I promise. So this is called Quick CPU, and what it does is it kind of makes your performance go a little bit better. Um, it can clean up memory if you want it. You just have to make sure that your core parking, your frequency scaling, turbo boost, and performance is all the way up. So I'm gonna put in the link in the description below. Once you go click on the link, go ahead and scroll down all the way through until you see download tabs right here. It'll say release history. You want to do the most up to date one. So this was November 24th. So click on either 64 bit or 32 bit, whether which one your computer handles. I did I just did the 32 bit. So you click download. And then it will go into a zip file. So once it's downloaded, it's gonna show me in the folder. Right, show in folder. Here we go. And then what you want to do is make sure you highlight it, extract all, and then you'll want to run this setup. Run the setup through, and then once that's done and installed, you'll get a desktop on your or a desktop app on your screen called Quick CPU right here. All right, once it's the app's loaded up. You will go down, you'll see core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost, and performance. You want to make sure all those are all the way to 100%. Click apply. Okay. And then close out the application. You guys are almost done. The last step is you're going to want to head over to GeForce Experience again. Head to the home. If you don't see any games, you can always click on these three dots at the corner here and click scan for games and apps and it'll scan all your computer so give that a second once the scanning's done you'll click on those three dots again and click optimize all games and apps it'll say optimization finished okay. so now you're going to click on details on GTA 5 and it'll show you what it did so these are the optimized settings it has for you at first I thought okay so if everything's on high how is it going to run smoother I don't know how, but as long as you guys have this updated, that's my call, and you're running the CPU, the quick CPU, I had no problems after doing that, all those. So once everything's optimized for your game, you're going to click launch at the top, it'll launch the game, and see if everything, all those settings have worked for you. So that's basically it guys, I hope it was very helpful for you. If anything didn't work out, try to repeat the steps again and see if maybe you missed something. But these are the best resolutions for me, for GTA to start working properly again without no lag, no stutter, nothing. Hopefully it was helpful and uh, thanks for watching guys, stay at Amazings. <laughs>